shouting and jumping for joy. How you no matter who's watching you, oh praise be to God, you got to make up your mind. It's your Savior, it's your Father, it's your God. Jonah was in a terrible condition. Yes. Amen. But Jonah knew Amen. he had a deliverer. Right. He knew he had a savior. Amen. That's why he told the captain, throw me overboard into the sea. What if you go we throw you overboard, you're gonna die. Amen. Not if I trust in God. That's right. Can I tell y'all something? Jonah wasn't no fool. Jonah never would have told those people to cast me overboard if Jonah didn't know he had a savior. Yes. Did anybody jump off with him? No. Huh? <laughs> Y'all say wasn't nobody with him? That's right. He was all alone. Yes. Right. Was Mary all alone? Yes. Was the blind man all alone? Yes. Don't you know you can't find Jesus no crowd? You got to find Jesus for yourself. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Verse six. Two and six. John, Jonah, daughter, I'm sorry. Amen. Preach, prophet. Preach, preach. Amen. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her fires was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord, my God. Now here, Jonah is praying. Yes. He's already in the ocean. Yes. Big fish that swallowed him up. But he tells God in verses, I went down to the bottom. In other words, I, I can't go no further. Amen. I'm at the end of the road now. Hallelujah. Bars were about me forever. Yes. Yet has thou brought up my life Hallelujah. from corruption. Yes. In other words, Lord, you're going to do something about the condition that I'm in. Amen. Yes. I ran from you when you called me, but you're going to straighten that thing out. Amen. Why? Because I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch, I read. When my soul fainted within me, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered yes, the Lord. Oh my goodness! Wait. When I didn't have no place to go, I remembered God. Yes, Who can y'all catch that? When I didn't have no friends, I remember God. When they fired me from my job, I remember God. When my friends turned their backs on me, I remember God. When the finance company came against me and I didn't have no more money, I remember God. Yes. Right. Thank you. When my soul fainted within me, Amen. I remember the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee. Uh, my prayer came unto thee. Yes, into thine holy temple. Holy. Into thy holy temple. Yes. Right. Right. Anytime you cry out to God, yes, yes. you can be in your car, in your bedroom. Amen. But God will hear you yes. if you cry out with a true yes. heart. Yes. Church, we got to make up our mind. Yes, We're in a dispensation of time where they're offering everything in these hypocrite churches. Yes. But I recall, I was praying before the Lord. Yes. And they made mention about this preacher you see off television. He had taught, bragged about how he had 50,000 numbers. Yes. What's he teaching? Mm -hmm. Nothing. That's right. Don't even know who God is. Amen. Praise God. But we know who Jesus is. Amen. He is God. The Bible says he was manifest in the flesh. Justified of the spirit. Seen of angels. Preached to the Gentile. And believed on in the world. And received back up in glory. Who the same Jesus. Not another. Praise God from God. Give me Romans 9 and 5 right quick. Same Jesus. But we've got to understand. The knowledge of who Jesus is. He came as a son of God to die. On Calvary's cross. Do you know you can't kill God? Uh, everybody already had enough sense to know that. So God had to do a transformation yes. that is spiritual and so deep spiritually that finite understanding can't properly Amen. interpret. Yes. But we're going to try. Amen. We're going to use line for line and precept on precept. Amen. Romans 9 and 5. Whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of whom as concerning the flesh? Concerning the flesh? Now wait a minute. Concerning the flesh, yes, yes. Christ or the Messiah yes. came. Who is over all? Who is over all God, in, in his complete state? Yes. Huh? God bless. God bless. Forever. For how long? Forever. He's God bless forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Christ. Hallelujah. That's why when they put somebody in that he, in the fiery furnace with the three Hebrew boys. Yes. Hallelujah. The king said, I put three in. Amen. But I see a fourth one. Amen. And he looked like the son of God. But Mary wasn't born yet. Yes. What are you talking about? I'm talking about God in Christ. Yes. 
Hallelujah. So if you don't understand the perception of godliness, you will never understand who God is. That's why we took you to Colossians, the first chapter, verse 15 or 16, who's the image of the invisible God. The Spirit of God is invisible. But Jesus made God visible in personality form. So when you see Jesus, on the right hand of the Father. Yes, it's not talking about two people. That's right. It's talking about the invisible spirit and the visible personality. Yes. 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 Hebrews, the first chapter, yes. says, This day have I begotten thee. Amen. Talking about the Son. Amen. Maybe you better get me uh, Hebrews Amen. 7 and 3. Amen. Amen. Let, let me show you something. Amen. Again, you're dealing with two interpretations of Son of God. One means God incarnate, the other means Mary's baby. Amen. But Mary's baby is not was not eternal. Yes. Mary's baby was begotten. Do y'all know what begotten is? Amen. Go home and look up in the dictionary, begotten. Amen. Begotten means it had a beginning. Amen. Son of God had a beginning. Amen. And when he died, he died. Amen. But when he rose, he didn't roll, rise as the Son of God. He rose as God. Now people say, all oh, power on oh, earth and in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not a third power, not half power, not almost power, but all power. I said you, you, you can't quite understand it. It's deep. It's a mystery of God. That's why Paul said, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God was made a human being. But you can't figure it out. He came as the Son of God. That's true. What did I say go? Uh-huh. Without father, without mother. Wait a minute. Without father, without mother. I said the Son of God was begotten. Hebrews 1 and 8. This day have I, he saith unto the Son, this day have I begotten thee. Though So there was a particular time when the Son of God has his, has his intro. Amen. But God never had no intro. Amen. Yeah. Without what? Without father? Without father. Without mother, father. That, 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 that eliminates Mary. Hallelujah. Amen. Without mother, father. Without descent. Without descent. In other words, you didn't have no grandparents either. Oh, hallelujah. You might well say amen. This Bible. Didn't have no beginning of days. That means he wasn't begotten. Uh -huh. Nor end of life. No end of life. Amen. He's eternal. Amen. I believe Jesus said, I am Alpha and Omega, yes. the beginning and the ending. Yes. Which means I'm from the beginning. And I'm to the ending. Yes. I'm everything in between. Yes. I'm an endless circle. Yes. Hallelujah. Without beginning or ending. Mm. But made like unto Made like un unto the Son of God. Abide the priest continually. Yes, made like the Son of God. Amen. That's right. But he opened up and said, Son of God didn't have no mother or father. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to explain to you. You have to understand and interpret which a lot of pre preachers can't because they're not sent by God. Amen. They just went. Amen. They got a degree from the from the from the from the school of theology. Amen. That ain't what make a preacher. Amen. Preacher got to be called and sent by God. Amen. We, we, we know the truth. Amen. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Was God. Sharp's rule on Greek translation says. Whenever you have two nouns in the same case separated by and, and the first noun is preceded by a definite article, then the second noun refers to the same subject as the first noun. Yes. So in the beginning was the word, the word is with God, and the word was God. Ain't talking about two, it's talking about one God. And the Bible says he came unto his own, and his own received him not. The Jews didn't receive him. We know that because they crucified him. But when they crucified, they crucified the Son of God. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. So y'all get upset when you say, well, the Son of God's in heaven. Amen. If the Son of God's in heaven, something wrong with the scripture. Son of God died at Calvary. Right. He rose as God Almighty. That's 
but sometimes it's interpreted as Son of God on the right hand of the Father.